Hey, the families and friends of our five honorees, our five notable women of Hatfield, um, we're very pleased that you're here and we're very pleased to recognize them tonight for their contributions. So this is Women's History Month and that's a celebration of women's contributions to the history, culture, and society, and it's been recognized in the United States since 1987. It grew out of Women's History Week, which was issued by proclamation by President Jimmy Carter. But recognizing contributions of women is not just something done in the United States. March 8th has been designated International Women's Day, and we're pleased that our meeting and Hatfield's recognition fell on this very special day. So a little bit of background on International Women's Day. It's a global day celebrating the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women. It's a day to not only celebrate the achievements of women, but to educate and raise awareness of women's equality and to call for gender, gender parity and equality. Each year there's a theme, and this year's theme is Embrace Equity, which means to understand the journey required to achieve women's equality. International Women's Day has occurred for well over a century with the first gathering held in 1911. It grew out of efforts in the early 20th century to promote women's rights, especially suffrage. Purple, green, and white are the colors of International Women's Day, with purple signifying justice and dignity, green symbolizing hope, and white representing purity. In 1977, the UN General Assembly invited member states to proclaim March 8th as an official UN holiday for women's rights and world peace. So tonight, Hatfield Township, and the Board of Commissioners are pleased to recognize five notable women of Hatfield, one representing each ward of the township for Women's History Month on this International Day of the Women. These diverse women represent a dedication to public service, using their talents and leadership skills to benefit the, their communities in various ways. Many serve on nonprofits, various boards, or support their school or religious communities. However they do it, their contributions and giving back is something that comes naturally to them and is something that they are passing on to the next generation. We welcome them and their families tonight and we thank them for all they do for Hatfield and the greater community.